Hi guys, Jared here. Uh, this video is going to cover how to set a pending order on MetaTrader. Uh, MetaTrader 4 that is. Um, to set a pending order, uh, there's a couple of different types and I'll show you how to get there and then I'll explain what the different types are real quick. Uh, first of all, uh, setting a pending order, we're going to go to the same place we would go to uh, get a regular live order. You can see that on a market order we have our buy and sell and this is going to put us in the market immediately. So if I hit buy by market or sell by market, that's going to put me in uh, right away. That'll be a live order. And this is called a market execution. So that's what type that is. But to get to a pending order so that we can set a buy stop or a sell stop or a buy limit or a sell limit, we're just going to go to this type and go to the pull down menu and go to pending order. Now under that pending order section right there, we're going to get a couple of options. So like I said, there are buy stops and sell stops in pending orders and there's also buy limits and sell limits. Now just to explain a little bit uh, of what the difference is, a buy stop or a sell stop is typically what you would use to trade a breakout. So for example, if we're looking at this, I just drew these trend lines in here right here to kind of give us an example. If we're looking at this currency pair right here, the Australian dollar, and we think that it's going to come and break back above this level right here and continue up, we would put a buy stop somewhere up above this level to enter as it came back up through this uh, little resistance. So a breakout up would be a buy stop. Likewise, if we think it's going to continue down and we want to sell below this trend line somewhere, say maybe, you know, right here in this general area, we might put a sell limit or excuse me, a, a sell stop. Once again, got to clarify a sell stop. And that's going to put us in as the market breaks this trend line and continues down. So buy stops and sell stops are typically used for breakouts. A buy limit and a sell limit is something that you use more uh, to get in on a dip. For example, if, if you thought this pair was going to kind of dip down here and there was some really historic, nice uh, reason, uh, support, some strong level right here that might stop this pair and turn it right back up and you want to buy down here, and uh, but but this hasn't happened yet. You could potentially put a buy limit down at this price somewhere here, uh, so that if the market makes it down this far, it will put you into a buy and continue right back on up. So that would be the difference of a buy limit. Buy limit is getting in on a retracement. Buy stop would be getting in on a breakout. Same thing with a sell stop and a sell limit. Hopefully that makes sense. But but most orders and signals posted will specify whether it's a buy limit or a buy stop and a sell limit or a sell stop. So all you have to do is go to the new order box, uh, just like we did once again, new order box. Go to type, pending order. And then let's just say we're going to put a buy stop on. We're going to go to buy stop and we're going to put our price in. So right now the market right there is at 103.18. Let's put an order in for 103.25. And then we can put in our stop loss, 103.00, for example. And our take profit might be 103.50. So we're putting all the parameters in and then we're just going to place that order. And you can see that now it says it's been successfully placed. We can hit OK. And here is our order. It's down here in our in our trade area so that we can kind of see um, that it's here. It hasn't been filled yet. This is green, meaning that it's pretty close. So there's our order right there. Uh, and, and you can see that little black line says buy stop. And, uh, and and as soon as the market gets back up to that level, that order is going to fill. And as soon as it gets to this first upper red line, that will take us out at profit. And if for for some reason it fills and then heads back down this way it'll take us out our stop loss is right there where that red line is but this is just pending it hasn't been filled yet if while it's sitting here before it fills you decide you want to change something you can just right click on the trade and go to modify or delete and this will give you the opportunity to change the entry price to change your stop loss to change your take profit. And as, if, as soon as you make any changes on any one of these, so if we decide we want to go with 1.0301, then you can see that that modify button lights up. And now we've changed our stop loss on our order. And likewise, if you just decide that's not a trade you want to be in altogether, you can just go right here to delete since it has not yet filled. It's just still waiting for the market to get there. And you can delete that order and now it's no longer down here. So that's how you place a pending order. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, and stay tuned for more videos on how to work uh, special features on MetaTrader. Take care, everyone.